that woke you up, didn't it? Now, Retro Shooter is a really cool plug-and-play arcade gun-style system. But it's got one small fault, and it's the amount of wires which are just apparent with the system straight away. If you play one player, obviously you have one lead coming from the system. And if you want to use the pedal as well for games like Time Crisis, then that's another lead trailing across the floor to wherever you're standing. For playing two players, that is going to be double the wires, another one for the gun, another one for the pedal. Not too bad. But when you plug in the power outlet, then you've got to run another lead, go into the screen, and then daisy chain four sensors around the TV at the same time. There's a kind of wires that's all over the place, and um, it might put some people off buying it, but it shouldn't, because with a little bit of ingenuity, you can actually hide the wires pretty well. Now, as you can see here, I've got the four sensors around the screen, but what's important is you don't actually need to have them right next to the... Uh, screen like i've seen some people put them here like this in these locations and then if they're playing a 4-3 game or if they've changed the resolution to 4-3 which is more like a, almost a square shaped picture then they actually take off the center and move it you don't actually have to do that because when you actually uh, do your gun calibration it is set to the boundaries that you've sat set there so all that means is that when you're aiming it would be possible to actually aim off the screen but the cursor if you've got one on will still stop when you reach the boundaries of the limits of the screen so you don't have to actually worry about that i've got these set as you can see clearly a few inches above and below the screen they are in line on the sides but on the vertical alignment they are obviously a little bit out but it doesn't actually affect the accuracy at all which i'll show in the game let's just fire something up no pun intended Right, so first I'll just briefly show the calibration screen and then I'll show how I hid the rest of the wires to make this virtually a wire invisible retro shooter system. Right, so it's still accurate because I've done it before and it's still really, really fast and good, but I'll show how we do it anyway. Press this button to aim. The more accurate your aim on this part, the better. It's going to be a few seconds getting this part right. As you can see, as the sensors are still above and below the telly, I can still aim to the corners, absolutely perfect. To the centre, if I go too high, it just stops. So it doesn't matter that your sensors are actually too high, so to speak. It's still absolutely bang on, still really fast, and you can still aim anywhere on the screen really accurately. Now another upgrade I may do in the future, and I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this system, so it's something I'm going to do sooner rather than later, is actually build these sensors into this screen. Now the way I'm going to do that is basically by notching out a small part of the cabinet here and just passing this through. The only thing that's hindering me on this right now, and I've got to work a way around it, is the way that this connection is on the side, if it was on the Back. that would have been just so much better because it means I can put this in as a block and I don't have to think about how I'm going to then hide this part which might be a bit of a, a bummer on that so uh, the same as this one this is actually worse because it's daisy chains and you've got ones coming out from the side if they'd have designed this so you plug them in from the back that would have been just so much easier and less wires on display too it would have been a much more sensible decision for me to actually make these so the connectors plugged in from the back you just got less wires visible Right, so again, I could notch out a bit here, push them in, but to be honest, I don't mind the look of it. Just a couple of centimetres on view of wires on the sensors, which is usually a large part of the mess. So let's now go on to where the console itself is stored. It is very small and light, so it's actually very easy to hide. But as you can see, or can't see, it's nowhere in sight. Even the power button is hidden. And also, where are the guns stored? And indeed, the pedals. Now this is an arcade cabinet which I designed and built myself, but obviously I didn't design it with a retro shooter in mind. But I did plan it with forward thinking in mind, so there's lots of space in this cabinet area here, which is part of the system, to store other systems and things like that. But that's not where the console is actually stored. The console is very, very small and light, and it's actually stored around the back of the system. Like on the back of this board here, there's plenty of space for the system to sit on the side, and I've got the little switch on the back here for the power. That turns it off like that. And just reach behind again. And that turns it on. 
So simple as that, that's a hidden system, it's all beyond there, the whole console's hidden. No wires at all, but what about the guns and the pedals? Well, the guns, as you just probably saw a second ago, have their own little holsters here. This was originally for the aim track guns for the PC, but I've unplugged one of them now. I just want a one gun system for that for games that aren't on this system, like Virtual Cop 1 and 2 and things like that. And they just literally pass through the holes there and run to the system. And all you've got to do is just pull one out like that when you're ready to play and you are good to go. The same with the pedals. But I am going to actually upgrade this pedal system here because right now the pedals just sit in the corners and when you want to just use one you just pull it out to your desired location and you are absolutely good to go but I've got an idea for these which is going to make these wires hidden as well because I do want this to be pretty much wire free there's nothing you can do about the guns lead that's pretty much as they are but you can actually hide these wires as well what I'm going to do is either no not either actually there's only one way to do this and that's actually I'm going to attach a piece of wood, a vertical piece of wood, uh, with a hinge on the bottom, with the pedal fixed on top. So you can lower it down and it will drop down to the right place to where your foot will operate the pedal. It's going to be colour coded so I'm going to make it all really nice. I'm going to paint it the same colour as the arcade cabinet, run some trim around the edges so it looks all part of the system with the wires hidden underneath a piece of wood and you won't see a, a thing and i'll even maybe put some rubber matting underneath it as well because obviously when it's in the away position you'd see the underneath of it so maybe i want to get some rubber, rubber matting under there to make it all nice and maybe even a soft close drop down hinge to make that really nice it'll just drop down really gently and you can do the same for the player too as well so that'd be no wires even on the pedals and it'll just be a magnetic catch up the top you just push it back up and it'll lock back into place and i'll be showing that upgrade too on this so really cool and one other thing i might try and add if i can find a suitable system is a auto rewind system a coiler sort of thing like you know like yeah for a vacuum cleaner when you've got the lead out and then you press that button on top and it just goes blah, 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 just sucks all the lead back up might try and get something like that for the guns just some sort of um rewinder system for the for the guns so when you put them away it's just very easy to do so so when you put them away you can just press a button or pull it and release it sort of thing and it'll just suck the lead back in because right now when i'm done i do have to feed the wires back in like that it's pretty easy you can just put the guns away like that and just pass the leads through and it just takes a few seconds but hey i like things to be efficient i like things to be cool i like to make things as good as they can be really so we just park that away like that make it straight because i'm a fussy git and uh yeah good to go for the next session same as these at the moment just a case of putting it into the corner tucking the leads away and that is literally it but i am going to add that system where the pedals drop down so i think that'd be really really nice right so there it is there is my retro shooter and as you can see no mess of wires anywhere really really cool the console is hidden around the back all the leads to the display are hidden as well the guns wires pass through to the system at the back and the leads for the pedals underneath really cool really like it i've got a full review on this coming soon but i'm leaving it another few days because i do like to play things and you know just play around with them for a few weeks first without jumping into a review too quickly because quite often little details will come up later on which weren't apparent straight away and i want to make sure my review is as accurate as possible good and bad if it's good i'll say so but if it's bad i'll also say that too well there's a the video if you enjoyed it be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all thanks for watching i'll catch you again next time bye for now